travel culture, a full service travel company which focuses on giving people travel experiences covering the arts, food, fashion, music and language, seeks to create memorable experiences in travel and hospitality industry. Travel culture focuses on blending cultural immersion with leisure and entertainment, offering a variety of travel options from cruises to adventure trips. Travel culture ensures every traveler from thrill seekers to relaxation enthusiasts until the traveler finds the perfect experience. Joining us now on the morning show is Edinyanga Uko, a travel and hospitality expert Founder and CEO of Travel Culture. Good Hi, morning. Good morning. So good to you? see you and good welcome to, see you to the well. morning show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we're having a very robust conversation mm -hmm. off air about the festive season and you know different parts of the world how they celebrate. What is South Africa like during the festive season? Oh, South Africa is absolutely phenomenal during the festive season, and the beautiful thing about it is that it also coincides with the summer, because remember um, winters are what you would consider summer in other parts of the world. So you have the summer, the weather is very good. It's very festive, Christmas markets, all of the lights and all of the Christmas cheer. Um, and then all the events as well. So it's beautiful, the weather is good, the food is good as well. Um, people really do have a great time in South Africa during the festive season. So in your experience, which province in South Africa uh, sees the most visitors during the festive uh, holidays? Um, so for me, I have, I would say the Western Cape, the Western Cape and then KwaZulu-Natal. Now, South Africa has about nine provinces, <coughs> and KwaZulu-Natal is what we popularly would know as the most popular city there would be Durban. And then for the Western Cape, it would be Cape Town. So Western Cape, Cape Town, KwaZulu-Natal, Hauteng as well. Hauteng is where you would have Johannesburg. Those are the provinces, in my experience, that would see a lot of visitors um, over the festive season. So we have to hear about this warm and inviting summer vibe in South Africa. At this time of the year, where everybody's like uh, in Europe. <laughs> you know, so what, what makes this a festive period? Apart um, from the Christmas and all, all the other holiday season that, you know, the prelude into the new year, what, what makes it that gives it that festive vibe? Um, so there are lots of events. Um, that's, that's another great thing. Lots of carol events. And for instance, if you go to the Western Cape and you are in Christenbush, there's carols in Christenbush, wine tasting events, and if you are a wine lover. And not forgetting the other provinces as well, because there's a lot of adventure that goes on in South Africa. And I love South Africa for all of the adventure experiences. So um, it's not just going to be just Christmassy and all of those events, but then you can you can take part in adventure activities and it's the perfect weather. Again, it's the very perfect weather to go, whether you want to do your bungee jump, which I have done before, or you want to do your you hot air bath. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the vibe that South Africa brings for you, to you, to all of the people that are visiting. That's fantastic to hear. Bungee jumping, I'm not sure if my heart can take it yet, <laughs> but let's see. Okay, but that was zip lining. Yes. Zip lining. That's zip lining. All right, so what are the top festive activities? I mean, mm -hmm. we talked about the wine tasting and the yes. others. So what are the other attractions for travelers visiting Cape Town, Johannesburg, and other provinces in South Africa? So if you're an adventure lover, definitely you might want to do around Pumalanga and all of the Limpopo regions. And if you want to do the bungee jump or um, zip lining activities. But then for the Western Cape, we talked about wine tasting. You can go on a cruise as well, um, a yacht cruise, if you love more of the luxury experiences. That's my kind of experience. Kind of experience, <laughs> yes. So you have like your yacht cruises, and then there are open air museums because the weather is also perfect for that. So you're going to have your open air museums in places like Stellenbosch and Christenbosch as well, which is a beautiful botanical garden. Um, and then for Johannesburg, it would really work well for families as well. So you're thinking of places like Gold Reef City, where families can go in and have a great time. Um, Monte Cassino as well. So lots of things to do. And we are not going to forget all of the cultural experiences. I love Soweto in Johannesburg. Um, and then just getting on Villa Classy Street to see that popular street where you have two Nobel Prize winners living there that... Um, late Archbishop Desmond Tutu and late Nelson Mandela as well. So those are lots of cultural experiences that you can always have in um, any of these provinces over the period. The 
way you mentioned the South African locations, <laughs> anyway, maybe off camera, I'll do a small quiz for you about locations in Nigeria. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be up to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would handle it well. But what travel packages do mm -hmm. you really offer for those who are hoping to enjoy South Africa this festive season, particularly, if I'm a small good thing, visas. Mm. How do you get visa mm -hmm. to go to South Africa? So we do have packages. Let's start from there. And the package we have currently, Travel Culture is currently selling, is one that visits um, Cape Town. So you have Cape Town eight nights over a period um, in, the, in December. And the package would include flights, return flight tickets. It would include um, hotel accommodation. So it's like the full end-to-end. -end. And then the tour experiences, you're looking at your helicopter rides, um, yacht cruises as well. Um, there's a bit of adventure in there if you want that. And then um, wine tasting, city tour, and popularly Table Mountain. Um, the views from Table Mountain are amazing. Now, we do know that um, you would, as a Nigerian, require a visa to get into South Africa. And there are two options for that. You could have the e-visa option, where you don't necessarily, you don't need to submit your passport or, or, or any of those. Or you have the sticker visa, visa option, where you can go in and make your submissions with all the right documentation, no falsified documents. Um, the documentation is right, and then you submit that, and then you also have the sticker visa. Um, or you can go the e-visa route. So those are the two ways that um, the South African visa is being obtained for Nigerians. But do you yeah. assist people to get the visa? So, because some of us, so many times, we submit e-visa, e this, this. The money will just send a voicemail. So the processes are straightforward. So we would give you the guidelines on how to go about the submission. And I do know that when the guidelines are followed, they are adhered to. The visas are usually approved when the guidelines are, are ahead to. OK. So what's included in these packages? Mm -hmm. Accommodation, Accommodation, activities, you know. So return flight tickets, first of all. OK. Um, so that's like taking you there, bringing you back. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, accommodation with breakfast. You also have the tour activities, um, the helicopter ride, the yacht cruise, the wine tasting, the city tour, including Bocap as well. And um, very beautiful festive oh, lunch as well. Uh, pockets inflation friendly. Yes, I think that for <laughs> what you get and the experiences, it is very, very, the price is very good. Okay. Oh. Okay, that sounds attractive. Maybe you should disclose the cost. It is 4.9 million. <laughs> How much? 100 4. million. No, no. It is 4,900,000 per person sharing, yes. All right. And that's per person sharing. How long? Yes. How, what's the so duration? So it's eight nights. Eight nights, okay. Yes, it's all right. for And eight all nights. these things you mentioned, the flight included. The flight is included, oh, yes. The flight right, is included. Yeah, the accommodation okay. is included. Um, the activities, experiences, the experiences ah, okay. are also included as well. Okay, so there's someone out there listening right now and is thinking, how can I book your package? What's, how can I easily book your package? So um, 4.9, all the activities you've mentioned, South Africa sounds heavily mm -hmm. you know, during this festive period. How can they book? So you can reach out to us at uh, Travel Culture. Please follow us on Instagram. It is at Travel Culture. That is T-R-A-V-E-L-K-U-L-T-U-R-E. At Travel Culture. You can also check out our website or send us an email info at travelculture.com. Um, we'll be happy to take your request. We'll be happy to take you to South Africa this festive period and have beyond. Your number that people can be buzzing now. Okay, so you can start calling us now. It is 0803 795 9251. 795-9251. One, one for the road again. 0803-795-9251. Okay, what tips, travel tips, can you share, you know, to enhance the South African festive experience? Um, so I would always say to people, first things first, travel with a travel adapter. The plugs are different. Mm -hmm. But we usually include that in our travel kits for our clients. And then when you get into the country and get into South Africa, um, just be sure to have a good time. Try out different meals. I will recommend you have the braai and the chakalaka. Don't be scared to try a new meal. And um, yes, you would definitely have a good time. Of course, you would need to be security conscious if you're going anywhere. Um, have your passport as well safe in your room. And all of those general tips for security first time travelers or if you are a frequent traveler as well. But generally, you would have an amazing stay in South Africa.
Mm. And maybe one additional tip should be that Nigerian men going there should stay away <laughs> from South African women. Because I understand that uh, South African men don't like to see Nigerian men hanging around their women. I don't know about that tip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've not been following that part of the sociology. So, so what are these uh, mossy sites? Mm -hmm. And in times of emergencies, yeah. what happens? So you might be traveling and have a medical emergency and mm -hmm. all of that. Is there some form of medical insurance and all of that? And, you know, what are the people to reach? Is there, like, uh, a support system mm -hmm. of some sort mm -hmm. if what we don't pray for happens? So we always advise our clients, the first thing you need to do before traveling is to have a travel insurance. Um, you don't want to pay... Is that part of the 4.9? Yes. We, okay. always, we always ensure that our clients have the travel insurance. So with the travel insurance, you're fine. Um, you can easily reach out to any of the numbers, emergencies, and your hotel would be there to assist you. And then we are working with travel companies on ground. Okay. So we don't just leave you all to yourself, all by yourself. So you have a tour guide, you have someone you can easily reach from a travel company on ground. So we usually defer, refer to them as destination management consultants. So those people are on ground to assist you with whatever you want. So if anything goes wrong, we don't pray that it happens. There is always somebody with the travel culture clients to assist you and have all that sorted. Good stuff. Good stuff. Fantastic. So, um, I mean, you've done, made a number of recommendations, mm -hmm. but what are some stats? Some, if you're going, if you're traveling this mm -hmm. festive period, which of them should you not miss? What's happening in SA this season? Um, so if you get into SA, you could combine, you could probably do like two nights in Joburg, just see some of the cultural sites and have um, a taste of Johannesburg. And then you want to do Monte Cassino, and if you're going with a family, you can do Gold Rift City. There's lots of adventures for children there. But then you can head into Cape Town, and I really love Cape Town. I keep talking about Cape Town for the festive yeah. season so, because, <laughs> yes, because there are lots of, um, like we talked about, open air museum, sorry, open air cinemas where you can just enjoy a movie out in the open on the big screen. Perfect for lovers. Um, so don't miss that. Um, I know that the Christmas lights have already been switched on in places like uh, Adderley Street, but then there are more carols that will be coming up around between the 12th to the 15th. It's, uh, what, what I also do know is that the choirs in South Africa are very good. Yeah. They sing very well. So if you want to experience that, then that is something you shouldn't miss this period. So how do the different provinces mm -hmm. cater to various types of travelers, mm -hmm. families, couples, single travelers? And... Um, all of the provinces are doing amazing. Um, like we said, we have nine provinces. And I would say for lovers, couples, do Western Cape. That is your Cape Town. Wine tasting, yacht cruises, open air um, cinemas. Um, solo travelers as well, you, can, you would definitely enjoy Western Cape, you would enjoy Pumalanga, Hauteng as well. Families, um, KwaZulu Natal and um, Hauteng would, would be a good choice for you. Solo travelers, all of these places, all of the provinces are amazing, but my, my recommendations would be do the Western Cape, do Hauteng, do KwaZulu Natal. Okay, so but just before we go, if you could repeat the number again. Okay. The number and the website for the benefit so of our the viewers. The website is www.travelculture.com. The email address is info at travelculture.com. And then the phone number is 0803-795-9251. Again, it is 0803-795-9251. Well, thank you very much, thank uh, you, you know, for joining us on the morning show.